Hi Moglets! Today we're becoming the ultimate Genshin nerd, using tools and math. We're gonna be checking out uh, Genshin Optimizer. Cap brought this to my attention a long time ago and I was always kinda hesitant, I'm like, eh, I don't know, I kinda wanna build my units my own way. But I wanted to try it, I have no idea how this works, so we're going to learn together. I'm just going to click on this link for the first time. So it seems like you can do things manually. You can just add a character. Let's try, I don't know, Tignari for example. So here we have all of his information. It would be kind of Moga-esque to put what my Tignari currently has, because it also gives you the actual damage numbers he's going to be hitting, uh, which is very interesting, honestly. So first of all, he is wielding the Hunter's Path. We're just gonna type in Hunt. Oh, I see. I guess we need to add weapons from here. Even so, let's focus on Yoimiya, because she's the one I actually use more often anyway. So we can just add Thundering Pulse there. Of course, it's level 90, but it is still R1. Okay, so that's there now. Let's go back to characters. We have our Yoimiya here. We should be able to swap the weapon now to Thundering Pulse, okay. So then let's go to our Yoimiya. This is all manual, but we are going to try the scanner. I checked it out briefly. It looks complicated, but we'll see how, how it goes. Uh, here's our Yoimiya. The artifact set, Shimanawa's Reminiscence. Here we go. Its main stat is flat HP, of course. Elemental Mastery and Crit Rate. It is level 20. I'm not sure what RV means. Maybe Roll Value? Ah, okay. Here we have the Roll Value Filter. Yeah, okay. I think I give up on entering anything manually. We're going to go straight for the scanner. There are a few here to choose from. We're gonna try Adepti Scanner first. It looks kind of the simplest. Oh god, this is GitHub. It's it's not simple anymore. Help. Okay, by clicking here, we can download it. We're going to start with that. I haven't even started yet, and I already feel like a massive nerd. Let's just try Adepti Scanner Zip. I don't know if I need the source code. Probably, it sounds important. <laughs> okay, now we need to find that zip and probably extract it somewhere. Okay, it's in my downloads folder. We're just going to drag it to desktop. Let's just uh, extract here. Okay, now now it's here. We're going to open up the application. Oh, okay, that's kind of scary. I mean, it's probably a false alarm, but like... All right, well, apparently we have to run it as administrator. Uh, we're going to hit run anyway. Cap assures me it's fine. All right, we have the program up and running. Now we're going to bring uh, Genshin back over. There are some things you gotta do. Play in windowed mode, first of all. We gotta set it to, to 1600 by 900. So, I mean, it's pretty small for this, the big display, but that's apparently the size it needs to be. Then we're gonna go into our artifacts. We can select this one here, showing a full preview here. Then when we tap on capture, you can see it took a sort of picture of this artifact. Apparently in this capture window, there shouldn't be anything else on the side here. It should only be the artifacts. So what we're gonna do is just kind of move around a little bit and try it again, hit capture again, and there we go. They just say to move around the background, you know, might be a little finicky, but there we go. We have just the artifact now, it looks good. We are now ready to begin scanning. We could go through manually and just capture all of them, but what I would rather do is try the auto. They say there shouldn't be any issue with this in terms of TOS or whatever, so, I really hope that's the case. I'm also gonna go ahead and enter my traveler name here as Moga. And I guess we're just going to click the button. It will take control of the mouse. I'm a little bit scared, but uh, let's see what happens. Oh, that's kind of, oh, it had to go down. That's so bizarre. I mean, it's basically like a macro. I have a lot of artifacts, so this will probably take a while. But yeah, it's like taking pictures very, very fast of all my artifacts and their stats and it will uh, sort of dump a file with all this information for me that I vi can then import into Genshin Optimizer. And from there we should be able to do some pretty interesting stuff. I guess we'll see though. It's even going to do the four stars? I, I don't care about those. Minimum rarity is set at five, so okay. And then it gives me some information over here. Duplicate artifact found. Good results, 991. Bad results, zero, which means it scanned everything properly, which is cool. All bad results displayed, but there are none to display. So uh, yeah, I guess we are done. We can hit export results. Export to C users, Moga desktop. Okay, it's in that path. Well, we already have this where we open it from. So let's hit scanner files, export 2022, 1030. It must be this one. And then this is what we, I guess, import into Genshin Optimizer. Let's go give it a try, I guess. Going up here to settings, let's go database to Moga 
Arties upload uh, JSON. So going back to that path we had before, throwing this one in there, 922 artifacts. That sounds about right. I have more, but since I did have it set to rarity minimum five, I guess it dumped all the four stars. And we're just gonna hit update database, I guess. All right, I'm guessing we're just gonna delete this one. And then we hit swap so that this is the current database. Now you can see up here, we have 922 artifacts. All of our artifacts are here now, that's so crazy. And you can see the roll value, that's pretty interesting. This value sort of indicates how lucky you were on your rolls. Not which stats got boosted, but by how much those stats got boosted. As far as I read a little bit earlier, 900 is the max. Most of mine here are around 700. I do see some 600s as well, uh, but I guess that would be about average and decent. Ooh, here we have an 800, this witch's flower. 14 crit rate. I guess that's pretty high. Very good for Hu Tao probably. Okay, and here are all of my characters. I guess it doesn't know that I've raised them uh, because it could just see what was equipped on who, which is fine. That should be somewhat easy to change, I suppose. Let's go back to my Yoimiya. And as you can see now, instead of having to do that all manually, we do have to change her weapon. There might be like a weapon scanner also, I don't know, but for now it's fine. So now that I added that weapon, we should be able to just equip it there. And this basically her full set. Yoimiya herself, I guess we will need to change as well, is 90. She has level 10 skill and E, I believe, and this, I think it's seven, ah, it's six, whatever. Are these her constellations? From the icons, yes, I am quite sure these are her constellations there. Yeah, let's actually not bother with team right now. Let's go back to our Yoimiya. I guess down here we can sort of uh, navigate. So here's the Yoimiya overview. She has everything she has on in the actual game. Oh yeah, what are the roles? Uh, 680, 770, 780, 800, and 710. So, so pretty good actually. I mean, that's not to say that everything went in the right spot, but yeah, this element's mastery plus 100. A roll value on its own of 430, it's kind of cool. Let me make sure the basic stats are actually correct though. 2298 attack, uh, that is currently incorrect, but that's probably because I'm in a team. Let's uh, take everyone else out. And how is Yoimiya on her own? 2298, that's actually uh, definitely very correct. Yep, everything is exactly how it should be. Crit 86.8, crit damage 162. It's kind of creepy in a way that everything is exactly how it should be. So then we can finally go ahead and test, but before that I want to make my screen a little bit bigger again. And it says here with her normal attack, uh, the first one should be 2x 1582. Uh, so I just want to go in the game and kind of see that actually happen. Though we do have this tab up here with uh, non-crit, average, and crit hit damage. So to actually see the number in game, we have to go to crit hit damage since she has such high crit. So then it should actually be 2x1722. We're gonna go to good old Masanori. I'm not sure if it matters. I don't think he has any specific resistances. So let's just try 2358 twice. That's a lot more damage than the optimizer says. There might be something I'm missing here. 2358, hold on. Oh God, that's gonna hurt when I unpause. Ah, the thunder emblem down here. Oh yeah, when normal attack deals damage, we get a stack. We do not cast elemental skill and we're always at full energy while doing this test. So that means we constantly have just actually one stack here, which we get a 12% normal attack bonus. That's still not enough though, since we were doing 2300. I don't think I'm forgetting to account for anything. Oh, here we go. We can put in the enemy config. I think this is pretty much Masanori already, that's why he's such a good test subject. Well, I couldn't find definitive resistances on Masanori, so we're going to the next best thing, which does indeed just have a 10% all resistance. He is 93 though, which means we can more or less keep everything the same, except just bump that up to 93. And um, I guess that saved, yeah. Oh, but now we will actually have two stacks of Mist Splitter because uh, we died and our burst is no longer. So we should have two stacks after attacking once actually. So 2x 2119. 2119, there we go. Okay, so there's apparently something with Masanori that's just kind of weird. Um, apparently he has like zero resistance because uh, we were getting more damage on him. But there we go, 2119, exactly as the optimizer says. Uh, so that's cool and that's pretty interesting. There is of course the optimize part of Genshin Optimizer, so we will be doing that with our Yoimiya here just to kind of test it out. How many builds? Let's do three builds just to keep it somewhat simple. Okay, here we can choose what we want on Sans. Pretty much always going to be attack percent here. Although I guess it could be Element Mastery if they figure out some combination that works well, but Goblet is always going to be Pyro damage. And Crown will probably, hmm, actually, I don't know. It could be Crit Rate or Crit Damage, 
depending on the substats, I guess. Her weapon is crit damage main stat, otherwise it would only be crit damage, but but in her case, could go either way, I guess. Select an optimization target. Any? Just make her good. <laughs> Apparently I can't generate builds yet. I guess just her basic attack, because like, that's mainly what I'm doing with Yoimiya. Let's see what happens. Oh, interesting. Wait. Oh no, they're going to give me a physical set to increase the physical damage. But yeah, I guess Yoimi is a little bit hard because her actual skill doesn't do anything, but it kind of transforms her basic. I don't want the normal basic. Obviously, I would like to optimize for her fire normal attacks after doing skill, but I don't I don't see that here. So I was talking to Cap a bit more. Apparently, just doing average damage without all this stuff will be the best, but Genshin Optimizer does kind of need to know the rest of your team. So if we go to team buffs here, throw Binny Boy, Zhongli, and Yulan. We do have Oblige and we do have Fantastic Voyage running. We always do have this. And Tenacity of the Millilith should always be running as well, more or less. We should go back to weapons and get the weapons we normally use with this team. Go ahead and get our Skyward Blade that's on Binny. This is actually level 90 and R2. And then it's just a matter of equipping everything correctly. Our Zhongli is actually C2 with all level nine talents. I have no idea why I made his basic nine. So I think now that everyone is more or less set up here with all their talents and everything, team buffs here, we're going to assume everything is active. You can see we get the pyro damage bonus with Binny's burst, the attack, whatever. Zhongli is not usually below 50% HP, so I'm gonna leave that unchecked. And then Yolan's bonus damage here. I don't know. It's going to be active, but for how long? Let's say, I don't know, six seconds, maybe. That's about the time I start hitting with Yoimiya. So with all this in mind, we still have Yoimiya selected up here. We should be able to go to optimize, building for average damage plus vaporize. The optimization target is the thing I'm really not sure about. Oh, okay. Hold on. I think we need to go to talents and actually activate Niwabi Fire Dance. And then we have this, which is a 2% pyro damage bonus stacking up to 10 times. I don't know what that should be. We're just gonna say 10 stacks because that's what it will be. So I think possibly now that this is also active, we can go back to optimize. And indeed now her normal attacks are pyro because it's activated. Cool. Um, let's just do the one hit damage. That's what we're optimizing for. Average damage, vaporize, generate builds. It now has to look at like my entire team and take that into consideration as well. Okay, unfortunately we are still using at least Zhongli's feather here, which is insane for some reason. We can give him something else though. So her build is actually looking pretty insane right now. 3,300 attack. 88 crit, 204 crit damage, 96 pyro. Where are they getting all these stats? And 345... I don't, I, I don't remember having artifacts this good. <laughs> Let's try crit hit damage, you know, for the whole uh, damage per screenshot. It says here, it says we'll get 75K on the three hit damage. The math is getting a little complicated. Crit damage, let's uh, configure some more builds. Oh, interesting. It actually didn't, didn't take anything from Zhongli this time. Oh, we went up to 99 for the three hit, but yeah, we have 26 crit right now. So our average damage is probably gonna be a lot lower, but uh, dang, we could probably get some pretty insane hits. This actually uses two two piece sets as well. 3,600 attack, okay. It actually must be taken into consideration, you know, Binny's boost, Zhongli's artifact set, the Oblige artifact set. So these will be her final stats while she's attacking, is what I assume anyway. If we hover over the question mark, you can actually see, yes, the art pyro damage, the team pyro damage. I don't really want to mess up all the information within Genshin Optimizer, so I would have to probably hit equip build. Um, but this isn't the build I'm going to stick with, obviously, with 26 crit rate. I just want to try it out and see what kind of hits we can get. Well, let's just hit equip build. We're going to say okay. I have no idea how I'm going to find these pieces now. Can I undo? Is there an undo button anywhere? That's going to be a bit of a pain, but uh, let's see if we can find them in game. Uh, oh, it is this one on Chi Chi. That sans has 40 elements mastery, so I think it's this one. Yeah, with 60 def. It's on Kli currently. That's actually way easier than I thought it would be since I don't have that many art. Well, I have a lot of these, but not many plus 20s, I guess. 19.4 crit damage, wherever that is. Oh, it must be this one. This one with 14 attack, 40. Oh yeah, okay. Crit damage hat with 75 elements of mastery. Yep, definitely this one. And finally we have a pyro emblem of severed fates that is currently on Hu Tao. So there's my unbuffed Yoimiya currently with a 2200 attack, 350 elements of mastery. <laughs> yeah, obviously very little crit rate. I don't think any of my main team actually got, got messed up in that process, so that's pretty cool. I now know that Masanori is a little bit weird, but I'm always testing on him, so may as well just keep the tradition. All right, here we go. 
Zhongli. Go ahead and do Yelan real quick. Couple of E's to get some energy back. Benny boost. And uh, we should be pretty much good to go. Uh, 97. I think that was a crit. I don't know if that was the really strong one. I definitely have seen more with Yoimiya already when I was going for like a low crit, high crit damage sort of build. I'm pretty sure I broke 120k. So I want to try that again. All right, here we go. Uh, 37. Obviously, it's a little bit hard to actually get a crit in there. Uh, 51, 41. Try again. 91. 121. I think I just saw 121. I think that actually broke my previous record. <laughs> I'll slow it down for both of us, actually, because I'm not sure. 121 Yoimiya basic. That's that's actually kind of insane. I think that was the first time it kind of worked out properly, so there's probably even more possible. But honestly, this isn't a build I would normally run. It's just way too inconsistent. And that is, of course, where average damage comes into play. We are taking Yelan, which means, yes, we should select Vaporize, so it knows to give us some elemental mastery. And what I'm looking at right here just a very solid looking build 88 crit 204 crit damage 96 pyro this build again does need Zhongli's flower it's not that big of a deal I don't need Zhongli to be the DPS so it's fine sorry Zhongli I'll give you something else this thing Hu Tao currently has equipped so I basically have to destroy like some of my favorite units for this build though of course we could uncheck used equipped artifacts but the point is to try and get the best Yoimiya we can with the help of this tool and we can't do that if we're not willing to steal artifacts Oh, interesting. Indeed. Elements of Mastery Sands. I mean, I guess it kind of makes sense because we have Binny, and he's going to provide a lot of attack himself. The Shanling Goblet and the Hu Tao Hat. So let's do a couple more Masonry runs. I expect to do more overall damage, but we probably won't see another single hit of 120k like we did earlier, but it's going to be more overall damage and more consistent. And that first one was essentially just for prep so I could get everyone's burst and stuff. Just going to start with the Zhongli burst and throw a pillar here for, I guess, his artifact set to, to work. Uh, Benny boost, and then we're just going to go ahead and go to a uh, Yoimiya and uh, C. So, yeah. Um, I mean, he did die really quick. Her build is pretty similar to how she was before. She has like 40% more crit damage, but on the other hand, we don't have a 4P Shimanawa, which means we're losing out on a lot of normal attack damage, but, you know, in exchange, we get. 80 Elements Mastery and 15 Pyro, so this is at least what Genshin Optimizer says is her best possible average damage for a Vaporize team. So I'll probably be rocking this for a while. I didn't see too much on Masanori there, so I want to do another run. Alright, here we go again. Oh yeah, 59. I'm seeing, uh... Yeah. So yeah, the numbers are quite a bit smaller. I think even with my old pre Genshin Optimizer build, I was seeing bigger numbers. I have to imagine that's due to the huge elements mastery. I feel like 350 is probably overkill, but I don't know. That's what the program tells me. Overall, the stats do look good though. Maybe the Genshin Optimizer is assuming that literally every hit is going to vaporize, and I don't think that's possible with Yoimiya in general. But yeah, if you are a veteran massive nerd and uh, have been tinkering with Genshin Optimizer for a while, feel free to drop some comments in the description below about how better to use it potentially for other fellow uh, would-be nerds. Or if you have any other thoughts, feel free to drop them down there as well. But yeah, that'll do it. Liking the video, subscribing to the channel, all that good stuff if you enjoyed the video. Always greatly appreciated. Thanks, as always, for watching, and until next time.